All about fishing with Big Kev. Stick around for the real deal. Hey, Big Kev here. Hey, today we're taking a video of the new office, my playroom, my workroom, computer room. I, we've been working on this for about six months, off and on. So I kind of wanted to show everybody what we did. So basically, we've rebuilt the walls, new carpet, trim, doors, the whole nine yards. But uh, real quick, <clears throat> over here I want to show you. This is kind of an old lure collection um, throughout the years. These are the old hellbenders. I remember these when I was a kid. My dad had these in a tile box. I don't know if they still make these or not, but uh, they were called hellbenders. I remember that. And uh, we trolled with them. And so over the years, from you know the wife going to garage sales, old tackle boxes, we run across them, and so I've always saved them. These are old uh, Rapala lures. Some people call them Rapala, but it's Rapala. Uh, balsa. There a lot of them are balsa or some kind of a wood. Shouldn't say balsa, but some kind of a wood. Um, but those are the old made in Finland Rapala uh, lures. Here's some old, here you can tell this is a balsa lure. See the wood, the paint's coming off of it. Old floater type top water. These are poppers. Here's the old jitterbug. That's an old school top water lure. Here's a smaller one. Here's another one. There's a few on the other way over there. These are some old lures I remember as a kid as well called thin fence. Um, I'm sure they probably still make them. I don't know, but I ran across these. But uh, Dad and I used to fish those, catch a ton of walleye all the time with them. These are some old lures that a friend of mine in South Padre Island gave me, and I believe he might be older than these lures. He's a pretty old guy. But I appreciate him giving them. He knew I collected them. Not sure if these are strictly salt water or if they're fresh and salt, but look at the old metal bills on, uh, on these lures. It's pretty amazing just what they tried back in the day versus how the technologies came in along <clears throat> the way. These are the old uh, Lazy Ikes. I don't know if people remember those. Um, several different styles of the Lazy Ike, um, but they used to be a very popular lure back in the day. Here's some split body Rapalas. Um, but kind of overall, it's just a bunch of old lures, unique lures, different lures. Uh, some of them are still in the boxes. But that's kind of kind of my start. And we're still digging stuff out of boxes. I've had so much stuff in boxes for years. Um, but we're still finding it. Um, over here uh, are some lures. These are what we give kids when we teach kids fishing. That's the kids' fish first uh, lure that they get. This is uh, my stuff up here, and then of course this is stuff we give kids as well. But uh, my grandsons put this together. I'll tell you kind of a funny story. They call this their Walmart bait shop. And I told them it looked pretty good, and they said, well, Papa, it's not quite true yet because we gotta put a couple up here with nothing on them. That, that's our out-of-stock merchandise, so I thought that was kind of funny. But over here, got some of my hat collections. Uh, uh, instructor for Outdoors Woman. Uh, crappie Stopper Jigs is one of my uh, pro staff. Lund Boats. Uh, just some old, old hats and new hats and different hats. All the stickers you see around the room are just 
uh, either pro staff, people that, that, that sponsor me, friends of mine that own businesses, all that kind of stuff. Um, just so I like, I like displaying that, um, uh, to show, you know, that they are, uh, part of what I do. Another great passion I have is, is collecting old reels. And, uh, eventually I'm going to get through these things and completely rebuild them, make them look as new as I can and fully functional. Um, and it's not so much about their dollar value, it's more about them being unique and some of the old stuff. Uh, like these two Zebco 33s right here. Uh, well, no, it's this one and one of those over there. But those are the original reels that I got in the 60s when I was a kid. And I, they still work. They still work. You know, back in the day, Zebco was made in the USA. Made in the USA right there. You don't see that today, but them all metal body, everything works in them. They're still a good reel. Um, I remember this one as a kid. My dad was a very avid uh, believer in Abu Garcia. These dad had on his trolling reels or rods, but uh, the old 5,500 5, reels. Um, this is one that my wife just got me. It's a Abu Garcia 5000, but she got it in that condition on a $350 G Loomis rod for $5 at a garage sale. She asked me if that was a good deal. I told her no, but let me have it anyway. So there, you know, and it, it's, it's sad that people don't care what they got, but it's great for us fishermen that, that uh, can come, you know, run across something like that and, and uh, you know, have it. Here's an old rod in real my wife picked up at a garage sale that that's a metal rod of it, it, is, it is a heavy metal rod old cork handle old reel and almost looks like they used a braided line back then but i just think it's neat because i mean you talk about a lightning rod on a, on a stormy day it's right there but uh i'm in a process of trying to figure out a rod rack Here's some other other reels up here that she's got. Just different kinds, different brands. Fly reels. Uh, just just some old school stuff. Um, over here is some unique stuff. She she finds this stuff for me and gets it. This was is my dad's. Um, I forget who makes this. Uh, but I just thought it was just unbelievable. Backwater bass. But I just thought it was really cool. My wife picked up three or four of those different styles at the garage sale. Uh, these old flies here. Actually, a good friend of mine in Texas who passed away. Avid uh, uh, educator for youth. These were his. And they did a fundraiser and I bought these. These were his. His name was Steve Campbell. He's an excellent gentleman that, that was uh, an advocate for families and, and aquatics. And then I come home today and this is what my wife got me today. She's out running around. And I mean, <clears throat> this got the box and the, and the book and uh, Utica automatic You know like I said, you know, it might only be a 15 or 20 dollar deal But to have the box the book and look at the condition of that reel is just unbelievable and I'm gonna have to study this because I've never seen a pole where that mounts That must mount on the top or something. But anyway, we'll have to figure that one out So I'm kind of interested in that but the old Zepco 33s are a big passion of mine as well. The old made in the USA Zepcos. And she got me some of those. Bait casters. Um, here's one real quick I'm going to show you. This is an old Johnson. It's called the Country. 
But what I thought was really neat, and I might be wrong, but it's got an L, an R, and an O, and I gotta figure out what that is. Oh, that's off. R, O, right? Real and then opposite direction. That's what that does. But look at the, I think this is the drag. Is that not cool how you can sit there and set that drag by a number? I'm gonna have to study that. But really a cool reel. You know, again, might only be worth a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, but just the uniqueness of that reel just impresses me. So, anyway, this is the office, the, the playroom. I just kind of wanted to give you all kind of a tour. Uh, Kind of figure out why I do what I do, and it's all about fishing. It's reels, lures, rods, uh, sponsors, you name it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Please like and subscribe. Love to have you guys on the channel. But uh, uh, thanks for visiting my room. Um, we'll try to get another video on the water here uh, in the next week or so. But uh, appreciate it. Talk to you later. This is Big Kev, all about fishing with Big Kev.